A 21 year old drunk driver accused of murdering three men in a golf cart over the weekend has been issued a $600,000 bond by a Harris County judge. And today we are learning that all three victims were fathers. Fox 26's Natalie He joins us live from Town Lake in Cyprus with the latest details in the case. Natalie. Well, all day today, family, friends, and loved ones have come by this crash scene to drop off teddy bears, balloons, all part of a growing memorial as they pay their respects to the three victims who've lost their lives. Monday has been a tough and emotional one for the Town Lake community in Cyprus, as loved ones of 36-year-old Jake Wunuk, 37-year-old Fraser Anderson, and 41-year-old Chris Scandridge gathered at a growing memorial at the crash scene to honor the three fathers pictured here in GoFundMe's for their families. This is a very small community. I just, I, I can't imagine losing, you know, my partner um, to something that's so, I mean, it, like it's, it, it, it wasn't necessary. Around 2.45 a.m. Sunday, Harris County Sheriff's deputies said all three were in a golf cart crossing a four-way stop at Greenhouse Road and Town Lake Parkway when authorities say a drunk 21-year-old Daniel Rivera ran a stop sign and crashed into them, killing them. Investigators say another woman and an eight-year-old child were in the car with Rivera during the crash, but all suffered non-life-threatening injuries. Rivera has been charged with three counts of felony murder. In court Monday, authorities revealed his BAC levels were nearly twice the legal limit. Well, at the hospital, emergency room staff disclosed that the defendant's blood alcohol content was 0.136. Reactions have been pouring in online and on social media. According to the victims' GoFundMe's, all three were husbands and fathers to two children. Fraser was an expat from Scotland. Jake was described as the life of the party who had the biggest smile that would light up the room. And in a public post on Facebook, Chris's wife, Summer, said, you always think think that'll never happen to me, and when it does, it's beyond excruciating. Now, as for Rivera, he remains in jail tonight, held on a $600,000 bond for all three murder charges. He is due back in court tomorrow. From Cyprus, Natalie He, Fox 26 News.